Thanks for staying with us. Local government employees are concerned about the delay in the full implementation of the Local Government Autonomy Bill by the state's National Assembly. The Plateau State Chapter of Norge is appealing to lawmakers in the state not to welcome any decision that is against the passage of the Local Government Autonomy Bill. Punam Joshua reports. Only 10 out of the 36 states' houses of assembly across the country have signed the Local Government Autonomy Bill. Local government employees are worried that the lackadaisical approach to such an important bill may be an indication that forces against the bill may be gaining the upper hand. It has prompted the Plato State leadership of the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees and their members to seek out this engagement with journalists. The president of Nolge, Plato State Chapter, expresses his discomfort at the way a bill which will bring quick development to the grassroots is being treated. He claims that from a reliable information gathered, the recent meeting between the Nigerian Governors Forum and speakers of state houses of assembly was aimed at persuading those who have not yet signed the bill to not do so, while getting the 10 who have signed the law to withdraw consent. It is only in the uh, third tier of government that the local government executive, the chairman and the, poli uh, the other political office holder have no a definition of time of office, when are they coming to us and from which period and which period will they stay in office. We therefore owe it a duty to let Nigerians and the whole world know that the governors uh, are the bend to the attainment of development of local government areas in Nigeria. On the 2023 general elections, the union calls on its members to only support political parties and candidates that will support the granting of the local government autonomy in the ongoing constitutional amendment bill. As a union, we are left with no any other option than to call on our members, their spouses, children, relations, and dependents to reciprocate the retrogressive punch by the NGF through voting only political parties and candidates that support the granting of local government autonomy in the ongoing constitutional amendments. The smooth running of the society needs to be cemented from the grassroots through adequate representation, policy formulation, implementation and equitable distribution of resources and services. Such can only be properly achieved if local government autonomy is granted and fully implemented. Phnom Joshua, TVC News. Joss.